I, I hope that it is. I mean, it, it, it clearly transcends sport to a certain extent about equality, rights of victims. Um, so I think it, it sure, certainly has the elements where it should, and, and the discussion of it is a positive thing, I think, going forward. We're, we're just moving forward. I mean, we'd love for him to come in and, and be completely and totally truthful and, and full in his information, um, but we're moving forward, and we've made that decision. Um, so our investigation continues at this point. Well, he, he decided not to come in on, uh, by the date we had provided to him to come in and be part of the solution to go forward. I, I don't think so. I mean, we're, we, we deal with the cards as we're dealt the cards and we're moving forward. So I, I expect our investigation to continue and, and hopefully um, we can move this board in a direction that's good for all future generations of athletes. It should be a, a wake-up call, and, and hopefully these cultures aren't in other sports. Certainly the evidence is not there, like we found in this case, to um, infer that they are in, in other sports. But, but at a minimum, it should be a wake-up call for really any institution, sporting or otherwise, that you've got to have best practices in place and be on guard for this type of corruption to evolve and ultimately take over the culture of your institution. The reason decision, um, you know, talks about the involvement of those around Armstrong in a level of detail. I, I think again, it should be a wake-up call for any anybody that cares about sport and, and what is valuable about sport. Um, and it's not just entertainment. It's not just about the money that goes into it. It's about something bigger than that that allows kids to dream and ultimately achieve those dreams, um, playing by the rules that the very sport is is, is bound by. I think we absolutely have to win the war and we have to keep pushing to ensure that athletes have hope that they can compete without having to join a culture that promotes and condones dangerous performance enhancing drug use which frequently is illegal um, but at the end of the day turns otherwise good solid dreamers into, into frauds and that's not a culture that we can tolerate in sport.